Hello friends, Lord Verminard back again in my garage and I'm excited because we have this here car here and uh, we've got most of the hard stuff done. We've got all the undercarriage done, the suspension, the brakes, the transmission. We've just got to build ourselves an engine and then get the rest of the bodywork done. Uh, I don't know if we can get that all done today, but I'm going to try. What the hell is going on here? I don't know if I'm going to get that done today, but I'm going to give it a shot. But we don't have any money, so we got to do jobs. We got to we got to we got to do regular work like working Joe's here, so let's do a job. Um rust and repaint. We'll take that job. 600 bucks. Man, that's not really worth it, but let's see what we got here. Oh, somebody said whenever you save and reload the game that the lights in here turn off. They do not. Now it's off. Now it's on. It's just dark. Um, but there, there's options for the lighting situation. Uh, I was reminded that there's the building materials. You can like actually go and get building materials, and that I guess that includes lights and stuff. So um, maybe we'll investigate that in the future here. But right now, oh yeah, that's that's easy. Are we done? No, no, we're not done. Right now, I just need to focus on making some cash. I need cash money to build my toys. So, boy, that would be awesome if that was all the rest on this turd. It's not. All right, where's the rest of it? Uh, why do I do this? I shouldn't be doing this. I should just, ah, there you are. I should just flip cars, and that's just going to be my whole business model. <laughs> that I'm good at. Because the car doesn't have to be perfect to make money, right? You can just... You can do a half-assed job and... And still... And still make money. These stupid jobs, you're up to the mercy of the game... Deciding whether or not you were... You did it right. You know? Okay, rest is good, so we just need to paint it, and we're, and we're done. Uh... 45A F93. 45A F93. A F93. Give me a can of that. Can't afford any more. Certainly shouldn't need any more than that. Uh. I thought there was another spot somewhere, wasn't there? What the hell was that? Oh, right here. Is that it? Are we done? Done. All right, that's give, that gives me 600. That's certainly not enough to flip a car yet, so... Uh... I guess we gotta do another job here. I, I do say that I'm I'm liking this this garage uh, organization I've got going on here with having my my grinders and stuff here. Wait, where'd the other one go? Where'd the cutoff wheel go? Uh oh, did I lose it? I don't see it. Oh no, nah. is it in my? No, it's not there. Well, it was a good idea, but apparently it ate my other grinder. I don't see it anywhere. Huh. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Good to know. Yep. My grinder's on a little cart there. Okay, let's uh, let's get another job. Let's get something else I can... Ah, let's get something else I can bang out real quick here. Wrong with shifting. Oh, I'll take that job. Fourteen hundred bucks. Yeah, these jobs are pretty. Oh crap! Can I afford another transmission? Shit! I didn't even think about that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now let's just jam this under here somewhere and. Whoop. Oh yeah, transmission be be fooked, bud. That's bad. 
All right. Uh, what training you got in this thing? It's a V8 with a, f a four, a four transmission. Okay, four speed what? I'm assuming manual. Yes, four speed manual. All right, so that's a Jesse. All cars, Jesse, engine. Actually, you look at V8. Four speed. Cool. Showing me the five speed and the four speed automatic. Oh, there we go. 541. Oh, hell yeah. Just enough. That's cool. Yeah, we'll make a, we'll make some pretty decent coin off of this job here. Let's do the thing here. How's everybody doing, by the way? Hope everybody's doing great. I have been working on my x-ray vision skills. No, I have been working in the garden most of the day today. Is there, is there really only two bolts on that side? Uh, as I have mentioned before, I don't really enjoy gardening, but my wife wants things to look the way she wants them to look, so I do it. Because that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> but it was it was a lot of hard work, and it was very hot today. Um, still is. I got the fan running, so I apologize if you guys can hear it. Uh, I just it's it's I just got to do it. That's what I got to do. I'm, I you know wish that I had. Oh crap! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help! Unstick me. All right. I wish that I had better. Oh, there's my wrench. Wish I had better uh, facilities, I guess, to do my videos in, but I don't. So, at least not right now. Okay, there we go. Now, can I get these? There's one. Figures I have to go under here right where the jack is. I don't understand why I can't get under that thing. Oh, let's do it this way. Damn it. Uh, oh, God. Uh, it fell on me. <laughs> Am I dead? Try this again here. What if I just, like, jam it all the way under there? Also, what kind of a ripoff jack is that that it only goes up like that high? It was this like a advanced auto parts jack from the from the nineties or something? Like what the hell? It should, it should work better than that. Ah, crap! Oh my god! All right, help! Like he, he should be able to just get under there. Like just get under there, bud. Just shimmy yourself under there. <sighs> Flip. All right. What's the lowest freaking thing under this car? I can't even, like, duck down far enough to look under this thing. All right. No, I saw a scapegoat, like, jammed it under the exhaust the other day. <laughs> I'm like, hey, that if it works, it works. Right, let's try this. Just jack the car up by the oil pan. It'll be fine. It won't hurt a thing. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't actually do that. Not a good idea. All right. I got one of them. So I think that's two. I can't see the third one, though. Let me get on the other side here. Uh, I know I could just, like, you know, now I'm like, everyone's going to be like, you should have used the second lift. Eh. Like, yeah, I know, but then I wouldn't have very much room for anything else in here. Come on, it's got to be somewhere around here. 
Son of a bitch, why isn't this working? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Crap. Okay, so let's put this right here. Like right under that cross member. Get her all the way up. And grab this little piece of crap. And do that. All right. This should work. <laughs> this is the most, this is like the most dangerous thing in the world. I, he, he just won't go under there. I don't understand why. And every other car, you jack it up, you can just like, you can just get underneath it. But on this stupid Jesse, you can't do it. And the jack just fell over again. I'm about to see if I can just like flip the car over. <laughs> Fuck's sake. What am I going to do here? Um, I have an idea. Let's grab my trolley. There. No, this is how you do it. This is the professional way to lift a car is you just jam a piece of furniture underneath it until it comes up in the air. This is how you do it. Everyone else is doing it wrong. I'm the only one who knows how to do it the right way. Here we go. Watch this. Behold. Think. And the transmission still didn't let go. What am I what am I missing here? Like the starter didn't unbolt either. There we go. Holy crap. Yes. We did it. Now, for some reason, I can't... Okay, there we go. So I say, the starter was not playing along. Okay, pick it up, guy. Just pick it up, please. <laughs> for the love of God, pick the thing up that I want you to pick up. Why does it have to be so difficult all the time in this game? Oh God, what happened? Is my trolley giving way? Nope, it's fine. It's fine. Here, let's get these while... In case... Oh God. Just hang on a little bit longer. And we got it. We got it. Ah! Okay. <laughs> All right, here's a problem sometimes when you do that that oh god, I'm I'm just running into everything now. All right, I got all the difficult bolts. I just need to get the bell housing bolts so we can get this piece of shit out of here. <laughs> um Boom, there we go. We're done. send it all right yes all right we have the this is the best way to to lift things now we've discovered we've discovered a secret in the game all right let's get that thing out of here let's get this piece of crap jack out of here that never works and uh that's still not enough money to do a job i don't think why does my jack look funny i have broken my jack uh oh <laughs> It's fine. Uh, pry tool. Yeah, you can go. You can go on my little trolley too. All right. Okay, I think we need to do another job. Another gerb. We'll sleep until nine. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, job. Paint my car. Seven hundred bucks. Take it. What do we got here? We've got ourselves a lot of coop. Uh, 191519. 191. 191519. Alright, it looks good to me. Uh, let's see, can I do this in four? I don't think I can, but we'll try. We'll do what the uh, 
we'll do it the Mako way here. And, uh... Just try to... Just try to... Blast it on there as best as we can. Oh, that's right, I gotta paint the friggin' wheels, too. Okay. Well, we'll get them. Painting the car, painting the car. All right. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of it done with that first can. Uh, where'd you go? Here they are. Oh, yeah, this is looking good. <laughs> this is looking so good. Oh, yeah, look at that coverage. Yep, you can't get that at any other shop, only mine. All right, that should have gotten behind the bumper and the, and the lights. All right, we're out. I might actually be able to do this in four cans. That'll be... It'll be pretty awesome if I can. What the hell was going on there? <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. I don't know what that was. <laughs> God, could you imagine if you had to, like, mask off the cars and all that nonsense? I mean, for for those of you that don't know, most of you probably already know it, but, like, when you paint a car... Most of your time is spent on like the prep and the cleanup. And a lot of that prep is just like taping off stuff. But even if you have a car completely torn apart, like you still have to tape off everything. And oh my God, is that just brutal to do that? And it takes m way more tape than you think it would take. I was helping some buddies do a paint job on a car that, that wasn't torn apart. But it was a, basically a full respray. Um, it wasn't a complete full respray. It was it was a repair job, but so much of the car needed to be resprayed that we basically just sprayed the whole thing. And I think it took us like two nights of of just like just you know like two nights, three guys, um, you know probably four or five hours each night with three guys working to tape this stupid car off to get it just prepped to paint. And that doesn't include like, you know, all the other crap, the sanding and the cleaning and just tape, <laughs> just taping things off, masking things. That was awful. But that's the kind of stuff you got to do when you paint a car. Like it's just, it's extremely labor intensive. I was watching uh, one of my favorite YouTube channels is uh, My Mechanics, and I I think he's uh, like from Switzerland or Germany or something like I can't really tell where he's from. He doesn't he doesn't say anything. He just he just works and he restores all kinds of crap. But um, one of the things he's doing right now is a he's restoring a Datsun two forty Z I think. 240, 260, 280. I can't, one of those. I can't remember which. Oh, man. That was a four can job. Um, but the level of detail that this guy does his projects is, is completely freaking insane. Uh, just in the, 
not only in like the stuff that he restores, but also in like just anything that he does. Like he a lot of times restores like lots of old hand tools and vices and things like that. And sometimes really obscure, bizarre stuff. But like the level of detail that he's doing on this car is insane. Excuse me, I'm taking a drink. It's also Lord Vermi's iced coffee time. So I'm enjoying that right now. All right, so I still don't think this is enough. Well, I could probably get a really, really, really cheap car. Let me see what I can find. Let's go to the junkyard. Let's have a let's have a lark real quick and see what we can find. But anyways, yeah, check that channel out. My mechanic, my mechanics. I think it is. Yes, my mechanics. Um, it's really, really great. Just like watching, you know, he doesn't talk over it. There's no stupid music or anything like that. It's just him doing the work and watching like his techniques of, of doing things and you know watching him take apart this old crap that they dug out of a freaking barn that's been there for 200 years or something it's just it's really really cool to just watch him do what he does but the car is going to be amazing like but i was just going back to the painting thing like <clears throat> even with the facilities that he's got available to him which is probably more than most people have just seeing how much work goes into prepping the car shell and taking everything apart and cataloging everything and fixing everything and it's just unbelievable. All right, we need the cheapest piece of junk we can find here that's got the most rust on it there is. What about this piece of crap? 700 bucks. The rust state actually isn't that bad. Uh... What about that? Five grand. Nope. And of course, one of my chickens is yelling. So again, I apologize if you can hear that. I really think that one of my emojis is going to be a chicken just yelling. <laughs> because it's just, it's like part of my channel now. 3,500 bucks for that. That would have been a, probably a pretty good candidate here. Uh, It's probably going to end up being that piece of junk over there, unfortunately. It's 2,900 for that. What's this? Well, this the rust is worse on this one, but it's twelve hundred bucks. Really? Well, there's quite a bit of rust on the back of it, but it's got all of its doors and stuff. It looks pretty straight too. That one's probably what we're gonna do because I doubt I can afford this. Yeah. All right, we're taking this. Gimme. All right. Um, it needed a hood. Is there a, a lad hood here anywhere? Uh, there's a trunk. What's this for? It's a Bart hood. Bart floor. Um, what if I take the hood off of this thing? That would work, right? I got my wrench with me. But if there's one just laying around, I'd rather do that. Oh, you don't see one. All right, let's take this one, too. Why not? Boink. Nope. Oh, my God. Can you just... Thank you. Okay, suck that up. And nine dollars? Hell yeah. All right, let's go. I'm sure that'll improve the value more than nine bucks. Oh, but I can't put it on without the front. Ugh, nuts. All right. <laughs> and I don't think I can take that off of that car without the cutter, with the, without the cutoff wheel, can I? Unless there's a front panel for one of those somewhere. There's a lad rear panel. Crap, I didn't even think about that. That was dumb. Uh, yeah, this car's got one, but I don't have my grinder. Crap. See if I can find one. I mean, I suppose I could, I could 
taxi back and get my grinder. And then come back here, cut that off. Yeah, that's probably going to be the best thing to do because even if I bought a new panel, I would still have to... Uh, I have to get a hood, and the hood is here, not at home. So, nope. Taxi to the garage. Just wasted ten bucks. No, pick up, pick up this, and this. that all right let's taxi back to the junkyard put that in there hello I'm back all right and we'll just hack this off real quick. Uh, disc. There we go. I think that's the only place that's attached, isn't it? No, well, apparently there's something else. Oh, right here. There we go. Yes. Thirty-two bucks. Give me that. All right. Now I'm pretty sure I can just stick this on and it'll work. I don't need to weld it. Perfect. Look at that. Yes. All right, there we go. Uh, there we go. Yes. Looks perfect. All right, let's uh, tow this to the customer sign. Right, that should work. And now, taxi to the garage, not the house. Excellent. Look at us. All right. Um, Turn this guy on and turn this one on. Turn that this way a little bit. There we go. Look at this. You make do with what you got. All right. So now let's, now let's, uh, Buzz this front on here real quick. There. There. Somehow that used the entire freaking rod. Makes sense. All right, where the hell are my other welding rods? Oh. On the floor, because why would they be where I... Why would they be where they should be? Yeah, someone said there's a mod to to get a uh, a MIG welder, but I'm not gonna mess with that right now. I've I've used mods in this game before, and it was alright, but I'm just doing vanilla game right now. All right, that's I think that's everything. Everything. Um. All right, so let's do some let's do some rust removal real quick, like.
Ah, that's perfect. Okay. That's clean. Uh, don't see any there. Oh, there's some this side. Right, that's clean. And I've, you know, I've explained it before, but this is kind of why I like using the grinder better than the, the blaster. The blaster is definitely faster. <laughs> faster blaster. Um, but the grinder can make that kind of phenomenon happen where it just, like, pops clean. And when that happens, you know that the part is clean. With the blaster, sometimes you don't know. Yeah, this sucker had a lot of rust on it. This is what you want to make the most to make the most dough. You want as much rust as you can find. Now that being said, I think there is more money in the the used car place over there. It's next to the garage here. Um, if you find the right car there, sometimes they only need a little bit of work and you can make a lot of money off of them. I tried that a couple episodes ago and it, and it worked out pretty well. This panel has not popped clean yet, which is making me worried that it's going to be someplace where I can't see it. Oh, there we go. We got it. Oh, this is miss missing a rocker, too. Well, if I would have known that, I would have cut one off of that car. Actually, I don't think it would have worked, because it was a... It was a, uh... Sedan. Alright, so we've got some more on the trunk here we got to deal with. Excellent. All right, what about this rocker? This rocker's got some more on it, so we have to deal with that. That may have been it. The floor pans aren't good either, but that doesn't really count towards the rust, I don't think. Looks like there might be some more on the inside of this door. Maybe? I don't know. It's looking pretty good. Let's pop this open here. Ah, there's some right there. Got it. Okay, let's, um... Is that rust? Who's that? I don't know what the hell that is. All right. <laughs> okay, let's, so let's look at some of these, um problem areas with this car here that I've recently discovered. Alright, I don't see any there. Uh, coupes seem to be a little bit easier than the sedans. Alright, cool. Yeah, somebody in the comments said that's actually a common place for us to hide on these things <laughs> in real life, so... I don't know, who knows? I've never actually seen a lot of all right, we got four stars on a rest, so there's still some somewhere. Let's go ahead and take these door panels off. Uh, where's my wrench? There you are. I uh, don't see any there. Uh, where the hell else could it be? Does the door have a panel? Yeah, it does. This one's actually good. Not there. 
Uh. Aha. Right there. Very sneaky. Um. Yeah, right here. Okay. Now it's gone. <laughs> I love that you just like touch it once with the grinder and it's like pop, gone. Uh, my light here. I don't. I don't see any more. What? That may have been it. Nope, that's not it. Crap. Where else could it be? Wait a minute, what was that? Nope, that wasn't rust. Now again, this isn't a customer car, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do kind of want to min-max a little bit of the how much money I get from it, as much as I can at least. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what it's complaining about. Where are you hiding? You know what? I'm not seeing any more. I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna send it the way it is here. Um, let me grab my hammer and... Uh, see if we can knock some sense into this thing. And my hammer would be where? Right here. Is this thing completely straight? There'd be no way. No effing way this thing is completely straight. What? Wow, okay. Let's grab a little Bondo here and see if we can find any spots to hit with that. A few. Yeah, the hood was a little out of shape. Holy crap, really? Wow, all right. This is a gravy car here. <laughs> There's like really nothing majorly wrong with it. It's had a lot of rust, which makes it cheap. All right, so we just got to figure out what color it's actually supposed to be. Spray it up, and we can send it down the road. Oh, I'm going to stick a rock around there, too, just because. They're cheap, and it takes like two seconds to do. Looking pretty clean here. I think we got it. How the doors look.
Okay. Uh, what color are you supposed to be? 74686D. 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 And that's this color, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, crap, the rocker. Damn it. All right, that's a um, right side rocker. Lad Coop. Uh, body. Rocker panel. Right. Coop. Gimme. I didn't even see how much it was. I don't care. Just gonna sh stick it on there. Get Mr. Welder. Ah, uh, come on. Is that all? I think that's it. I think so. If not, it's close enough. <laughs> All right. What, what what are you doing here? Get back in your corner where you're supposed to be, you stupid thing. Also, you notice all the sand is now here instead of over here. I don't know how that happened, but... All right. Where were we? All right, easy enough. Wrench. All right. Yeah, you know what? I need to. I need a light here now in the front. It's hard to see the front panels of these things here. All right, gotta paint. And I think three cans would be enough to finish this. how that panel all ended up black. <laughs> See, that door doesn't really need it on that side. Rock and friggin' roll. I think it's done. Um, stick this door panel back in it. Wrench is over here. All right, we happy? 4,800 bucks. I'd say that's pretty good. I, I would really like to know where the rest of this rust is, though. That's kind of driving me nuts.
There it is, right there. Why didn't I check that before? Hopefully that got it. Uh, paint. <sighs> this is not an easy spot to get into here. What is going on there? Oh, I didn't get all this either. Whoops. All right, now where are we at? Oh, that didn't get it all. I wonder where the rest of it could be. You know what? I don't really care. I don't want to spend all freaking day trying to find one little spot of rust that may or may not exist. All right, color condition, where are we at? It's good, so 4,800 bucks is not bad. All right, let's get rid of this. There we go. All right, so that's probably enough money to um, at least get most of our engine build done, I would think. So we've got... Uh, we got pistons and the high performance pistons and high performance crank in there. So let's get everything else to build the top end. Uh, we are dealing with a wolf here. And we're I6D. Get another drink there. Sorry about that. Um, all right, is there a high performance head? I don't think there is, but let me just look through here. Uh, well, we need this. Um, so there's a regular cylinder head. And I, why does it say cylinder head cover L? We definitely need the oil pan. Uh, turbo intake of fuel pump high performance, injector high performance, okay. Turbo exhaust manifold. We have a high performance camshaft, but not a high performance head. So we're going to get the high performance cam. Cylinder head. Cylinder head cover. And. What was that other thing? Oh, the gasket. Yep, we need that. Okay, that's a good place to start. Uh, can I pick any of this stuff up in my bag? Uh, some of it. <laughs> All right. There's the head. Let's get the oil pan and let's do that the oil pan now since we can there's nothing else that needs to go on there
Uh, okay. Let's barf out the head gasket. And... Stick that on there and hope it doesn't disappear. All right. Somehow I think a Mercedes straight six diesel engine would have more than six head bolts. <laughs> All right. Well, that was really not that exciting. Um, <laughs> let's do the camshaft there. Crank pulley. Cylinder head cover. All right. Let's do the crankshaft pulley here. Wait a minute. Not yet. There's a timing, a timing bit there. Don't want to get ahead of myself. All right, so that's the high performance camshaft. Is it supposed to be? Okay. All right, so we need a cam sprocket and a crank sprocket and all the timing stuff. All right, so we need a timing chain. Um, crank sprocket there, camshaft sprocket here. Uh, let's see, the water pump is driven off the belt, right? Not from the... Yeah, so we'll do that later. Uh, crankshaft pulley we already have. And we already got the timing chain just now. Timing cover. Okay, that should get all the timing stuff. Let's vacuum this up. And... Cam and crank sprocket, timing chain, timing cover. Uh-oh. I just threw that outside. Hopefully I can get it. <laughs> There's you. There's this, which doesn't look like it has a bolt. Uh, can't pick this up if you have something in your hand. All right, let me get that cover, I guess. Can I just do it this way? There you are. Oh, God. Stuck. Help. Okay. There you go. <laughs> this is a perfectly normal way to, to collect your parts. Uh, tighten that, and that, that. Yes, I think that's everything. So let's roll it back this way. This can go on there. Very nice. There we go. Right, yeah, this is a pretty simple engine to put together once you've uh, done it a few times. I, I always prefer overhead cam or dual red cam engines to push rod anyway. They just, for, for some reason, for me, they're easier to visualize and where everything goes. All right, so now we want to get the rest of the front end of it dressed up. So we need power steering pump. We need the oil filter housing, oil filter. Oil filter lid. Um, I'm not going to get the glow plugs yet. 
fuel filter. Uh, alternator bracket, alternator, alternator belt, water pump. Uh, we need the fuel pump as well and the belt tensioner. Good lord, that's a lot of stuff. All right. <sighs> Suck all this stuff up here. All right. Fuel pump there. Steering pump. Oil filter lid. Oil filter. Belt. Oil filter housing. Water pump. Alternator bracket. All right. Look at us go. Okay, oil filter housing right there. Perfect. Oil filter goes oil filter goes in there. Oil filter lid. Done and done. All right. Uh, this here fuel pump goes right around here someplace. Yep, right there. Thankfully, you don't have to time this. Because in real life, that's not much fun. Um... Yeah, we already got that one. All right. Now we need the uh, water pump. And we get R. Well, that one's tricky. And. Alternator bracket, which hangs off a funny angle here somewhere. Where is that? Yeah, right there. This fancy alternator. Ah, and the tensioner. <clears throat> Like that's it for that. Sweet. And power steering pump right there. That was a sneaky bolt there. All right. <clears throat> There's all of our accessories. Very easy. Fuel filter. Goes right there. All right, so now it's time for glow plugs, um, injectors, and fuel lines, right? Yes. So we want these. One, two, three, four, five, six. We want Glow plug relay. We need six of these guys. One, two, three, four, six. And we need fuel hoses. All right. Vacuum. <laughs> fuel hoses. There we go. All right. 
So these go there. There's a very small window that it gives you to actually install these correctly. <laughs> And it still does stuff like that from time to time. Yes, the uh, my car threw a uh, a glow plug check engine light about a year ago, and um, actually probably more than that. And one of my friends who had the same car, a Volkswagen TDI with the Pump Deuce TDI had the same problem and when he went to replace them one of the glow plugs snapped off in the head so of course he had to rip the entire head apart and off the car and have it you know professionally extracted and fixed and put it all back together and so i told him that i had a, a light for the glow plug and he's like don't freaking do it he's like be prepared to do the whole cylinder head rebuild <laughs> And so I waited and ended up just as kind of preventative maintenance. Those cars also could eat camshafts. And so I saved up all the money and, and got a new camshaft and, um, you know, a complete head rebuild and went and did the whole nine yards, did the valves and everything. Uh, so I always tell people that was my extended glow plug replacement procedure. <laughs> There's a lot of freaking work just to replace glow plugs. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have to attach these, so that's great. All right, so that is the fuel system. The fuel line connects there. Those are attached. So... Now we need the intake and exhaust, right? All right, so we want... We're clearly getting a turbo. Because why would you have a diesel without one? Uh, turbocharger. Turbo air filter. Well, you know what? I may as well get the clutch crap, too, while we're here. So we need a flywheel, clutch, pressure plate. Uh, let me see. So there's a regular intake manifold, but we want the turbo version. This one. And the turbo exhaust manifold. Ah, oh, awesome. I could get all of that in my bag. Uh... All right, pressure plate, turbo here, manifold, intake, uh, flywheel, clutch plate, and air filter. Oh boy, this is exciting. Um, all right, that goes there. Stand up. All right. Excellent. There are bolts on the top of that. I don't think there. Oh, there is. Wow, okay. Uh, not intercooled, which is kind of gross, but just do what we gotta do, I guess. As much difference as an intercooler makes on a turbo engine, even if you have to put a really stupid, small, crappy looking one on there, you should do it. <laughs> 
Because it's, it's absolutely, without a doubt, better than not having one. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Yes. Okay. Just want to make sure I didn't skip one. Okay. Then you go there. And you go there. No alignment tool needed. Honestly, as many times as I've done Volkswagen clutches, I can usually align them pretty good with my finger. Some cars are probably more picky about that than others, but at least with V-dubs, they're not. Okay, so we've got ourselves a a freaking a freaking engine. Put a little Earl in there, get it ready to go. Oh wait, I need the shit. I need the um the fan. Did I get not get that? I wish you could get an electric fan, man. <laughs> electric fan, man. Mechanical fans are such BS. All right, there we go. Oil. I have some of that. There's some right here. All right, how much oil does this sucker take? I'm gonna take a drink real quick while I was doing that. Ah, out of ice coffee, Sag. All right, hurry up, fill faster. All righty then. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to need at least two. In reality, I think these things take like seven or eight quarts at least. <clears throat> I mean, crap, my little, my little Volkswagen takes like four and three quarter quarts or something. Well, I guess that's a two liter bottle of oil, so yeah. That'd be about right, I guess. Let's check what the shtick says here. Guess it needs a little more, all right. How's that? You happy? A little bit more, I guess. Looks good to me. All right. What do I do with that? Here it is. Okay. There we go. Check it. Got ourselves a little turbo dweezel. That wasn't so bad. Um, and we even have a little bit of money left over. So I was somebody in the comments mentioned something very interesting. When I was complaining about how there's not. Um, oh, God, that there's not uh, performance brakes. Someone said that there are performance brakes at that other shop. And I was like, what? So I think what we should do uh, is get rid of the crap that's in the back of this thing and make a run to the, to the, uh, make a run across the bridge and see if we can maybe possibly find some of that, uh, find some of that there. Performance parts there. What say you? Does this turret even work? It, it runs. Um, I gotta drive it now, which is a little bit scary. Alright, we'll just 
Take a little shortcut this way. See, I thought I saw a car coming. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. We made it down here without dying. That's great. Just a friendly bit of advice, bud. Keep your garage locked at night. What is up, escape? All right. <clears throat> Wow, 79 bucks for that? Hell yeah. Oh god. Like it's easier to like just go through the <laughs> go through the uh the box of the thing than it is to just try and climb in the back of it. Yeah, some of these were new parts that I bought duplicates of, so... May as well get as much money as I can out of it, right? Is that it? That's it. Alright, let's have a... Have a look at this performance shop here. Because I thought that I've been there before, and it didn't have anything different than what the other guy had. Now, this truck isn't in the best of shape, and I don't know mechanically if it really needs anything else. I made sure I fixed the brakes, but other than that, I have no idea. So, hopefully it doesn't strand me. It's not ridiculously fast, but it's fast enough. It's wrapping the speedometer all the way around, so... <laughs> Which is... Whoa, which is uh, not what most moving trucks can do. Uh oh, I gotta throw the needle here. Uh, okay, now I gotta cut in front of this guy and make this turn. Just take a little shortcut through the grass here. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is definitely faster than it needs to be. But if there's performance brakes, holy crap. Especially with this Wolf, like it's, you know, it's a German car, it's gotta have really good brakes. Because even like, older German cars had pretty good brakes, like, compared to... Compared to like, you know, domestic cars of the same era. I mean, like, you look at... Or Volvo. I mean, I mean, that's a perfect example. They had superior brakes compared to just about anything else on the road back in the 80s. Oh, my God. They were light years ahead of anybody else. All right. Don't hit that sign, which I may or may not have done. All right, so someplace there's a performance shop here. Um... May have been on that sign that I just went whizzing past because I couldn't see. Uh, let's do this here. There's a hardware store, a food store. Performance parts store. So it's this last road on the right here. All right. Uh, so was that right here? Um, this doesn't look like a... Oh, is this it over here? That does not look like a performance parts store. Uh... Frame rate is suffering severely. Alright, maybe it's the next road over. Ah, it must be this road here. Okay.
Um, performance parts store. Where are you? Is it this one right here? Must be this store right here. Yeah, my, my frame rate is not very happy right now. Um, Welcome. How can I help you? That's a... Your voice is very, very unexpected for this type of work you're doing here, bud. You should do voiceovers, man. I'll tell you what. Okay, so there's a parts catalog here. Uh... Oh, look at all this crap. Well, you can buy this in the regular catalog, though, can't you? Yeah, that's the regular turbo. The performance cylinder head for the regular i6. I'm not seeing anything like special here though. Um you got all the same you got all the same wheels and tires and whatnot. It actually has doesn't have as many as the other place either. Um Custom plate? $2,500 for a custom plate? What? Okay, so let's look at, at this and look in the brakes. Yeah, there are no performance brake parts here. Um, What if I just looked at, like, a, a Chad? Brakes. Nothing. They lied to me. <laughs> Huh. Okay, well, yeah, I guess this was kind of a waste of time. Um, unless there's another shop that I don't know about. See, I'm in the performance parts store right here, so... So, yeah, uh, I'm not really seeing much of performance parts that it's any different than anything else. I'm pretty sure you can get all this crap through the catalog. And there is definitely not performance brakes here. Well, crapper, that's a bummer. I was hoping to find a bunch of new stuff. All right, well, in that case, um, we're going to tow this to the garage. Oh, no. Where'd that crap come from? <laughs> All right, can I put that in my bag? No. And no. Great. Okay. Well, here, you can just go in the trash then. And this too, because I'm not going to come back for it. Who cares? All right. Well, let's take a taxi to the garage. And there's my truck. All right. Well, let's, um, uh, let's go ahead and get the engine put in this car before I end the day here. Oh, crap. You know what else I need? Is I need wheels. What if I should do that? If I have enough, I don't even know if I have enough money for that. Uh, nuts. That means I need to take the truck to do, over there to do it. What the hell now? It just ran two seconds ago. What's wrong with it? You know what? I don't care. Not my problem anymore. I have a better way. Um, yeah, I'll take this job. Ah, this is a perfect vehicle, too. All right. I was like, great, this one's not going to start either. <laughs> that would have been uh, just my luck. All right, let's see here. How do I do the view? Uh, like this. All right. I 
I'll just drive from the outside view here, even though it's terrible. <laughs> Alright. Turn that off. Hit that. Turn that off. Jump out of here. Yeah, even this guy has different, like, a different wheel selection. Uh, so what wheels do we want on this thing? Those are only 16s. I want... This is a German car. It needs to have big-ass wheels. I bet that's where my bumper went. 17s. Yes. All right. I think we want... Two of those and two deep. <laughs> and I can change the freaking tire. I can put the tires on over here, too. Yes. All right, so what tires do we want? Uh, 14, 14, 16, 16, 17. We've got lows and regular 17s. I think the low profiles are going to look kind of silly. But they don't have, like, wide ones, do they? Hmm. We'll just buy four of them, I guess. All right, so here's 117. There we are. Where the hell did all the wheels go? All right, we're here. Oh my god, pick it up. I feel like I'm missing... Oh, there's one right here. All right. There we go. I met this guy when I visited Quebec. Jason Tremblay, I think. It's been a while since I've seen that guy. All right, stick that one on there. Does that actually look wider? Like, is it actually wider? No, it doesn't. It just is deeper. Just a different offset, basically. Eh, that's kind of a bummer. Oh, well. That's fine. There we go. We got our wheels. Anything else I need? Got wheels, right? Um, what about a steering wheel? Both of those look kind of boring. Um, I feel like I should stock up on crap since I have that customer vehicle over here. <laughs> uh, wheel spacers too but i don't think i really need any of that i certainly don't want chrome wheels it's going to look really stupid um well i know i'm going to need a battery for this thing so this will get one And what else do I need? I guess that's it. Can't really think of anything else. All right, let's go. All right, we're sitting. Yo. Give me some room here. Holy crap, this thing's fast. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have a little bit too much fun here. Oh, crap. Somebody is mowing right now, very close to the house. Which is probably going to cause me to 
end this episode early. All right, hang on just one second, guys. Okay, well, I have a couple of seconds here. <laughs> um, let's get this engine thrown in the car. Boom, there it is. <laughs> Done. Yes. So all I did... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to... I'm just going to speed up that footage or... Or, uh, or what I'm going to do here, but... Um, yeah, all I did was inflate the tires, basically, and, and complete the... And complete that paint job. Um, so now we're about ready to put this thing on the ground, but I also need a starter. So let me grab that. Alright, I don't know how much time I have to do this, but... Uh, I'll give it a shot here. <laughs> I6D. Engine. We need a starter. Where is it? Starter Nader. Where are you at? I'm gonna have to do all kinds of editing to to make this video work. So I apologize for the for the interruptions, guys, but sometimes there's not much I can do about it. So like I said, I'll just work around it. No big deal. Oh god. Get in there. There we go. Get Mr. Wrench. We'll get this thing lowered on the ground and we'll call this episode done today. Um but we got a lot done today. Absolutely, did we? Did we ever? Um, oops, I just lowered the jack onto the... Or lowered the, the lift onto this door over here. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So we got it on the ground. And I gotta say, the stance looks pretty bitchin'. Not gonna lie. It might be a little bit too low still, but we won't know until we get all the fenders and stuff on it. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to call this episode here, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had a really good time, and I hope you did too. I appreciate all the views that I get. Uh, I appreciate all the support that the channel is getting. It's getting a lot. Um, you guys are all freaking rock stars, and I really appreciate it. So I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody.